fingerprints in the crime scene or even in forensic science. So, as you know that everybody has a unique fingerprint that can, can differentiate him between others. So, let's imagine that we are in a crime scene and uh, there was a dead body that was killed by suffocation and the murderer's uh, fingerprints are in the dead body's head neck. So, what we do? We will get test, uh, we will get eye line and put it in a beaker. We will heat the eye line over fire till it uh, gives us the glow or till it evaporates a violent gas. As we said, let's imagine that we are in a crime scene and that this body was killed while by suffocation and the murderer's fingerprints are in the dead body's name. So what we do? We will get high time heated till it emits a uh, violet gas, till it emits a violet gas and you will get a uh, filter paper and place it over the dead body's neck so you get the oils and the fingerprints which was, which was uh, formed by the dead body's pressure on its neck so you will get the filter paper place it so what happens now or what is their reaction so that time is characterized by that it does react with the oils and the fats found on our fingerprints so it can print it or it can transfer the fingerprints over the filter paper and as we did before we did a lot of fingerprints and you see now that the fingerprints are found and now you know how to get the fingerprints over the dead bodies <laughs> I'm Ahmed and this was an activity from the science department at Montero College School I hope you enjoyed and